Hey guys, uh, welcome to another review here. Um, I uh, got a uh, request today of, of a review on uh, Zone Alarm Security Suite. So I decided, uh, well, might as well do a review, see how it does here. I got the same uh, links that I did with the other two reviews earlier today. As you can see, the installer on Zone Alarm is huge. It's 109 megabytes. So it's uh, not for anybody who's got uh, dial-up, to say the least. So uh, let's get started on this thing. I've uh, I haven't used Zone Alarm in a long, long time. So uh, we'll see what's changed here. See if anything uh, major has changed. I guess we'll install the security toolbar. And uh, let me enter an email address in here one second. Okay. And uh, let's install it. Don't know how big the installer is, or, uh, or I mean, uh, how much RAM this is going to take when it's all done. But I guess uh, we'll see. Excuse me here. Um, so I'm a little tired today. You can see it's installing the antivirus. Now, from what I remember, um, Zone Alarm Security, their Internet Security Suite, uses uh, Kaspersky's antivirus signatures. I don't know. I think it uses the engine, too. Uh, I haven't looked it up. Or anything, but I'm pretty sure it does. So it should do very, very well. Uh, we'll see what else it's got in addition to that. Uh, hips, or um, heuristics, or behavior, or that type of stuff. Because, you know, as well as those signatures are, without some of those products, um, you're not going to do anything remarkably well. Because um, the name of the game today in the antivirus world is uh, zero day malware and trying to detect it um, when you don't have a signature for it so uh, we're gonna go with the uh, default installation on this we're gonna enable the antivirus protection I got a uh, 15 day trial off of their website so if uh, after I do this review you wanna try it out yourself you can actually get it off of uh, Zone Alarm's website and right now it's gonna restart the computer so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause the video and I'll be right back when it's uh, done restarting okay guys uh, computers restarting now I don't know how many uh, parts zone alarm review is gonna be it all depends on how fast it uh, decides on uh, cooperating with me if uh, the updater is slow or anything like that it might take more than two but I like to keep it to two anything longer than 20 minutes and people get bored you know just watching programs work I just wanna give you a quick idea how it works how it does you know I don't wanna teach on how to use the whole program uh, you can always just read the help files and you know all these companies have forums and you can go over there and ask for help if you decide on trying it out and you got some problems but I'd like to uh, just kinda give you a, a nice overview of what the program consists of and um, you know what it can do. Okay, finally starting up here. You know that, of course, it's uh, out of date. Got the zone alarm client there. I'm going to continue the trial. Okay, the interface is a little bit different than what I remember it. Uh, let's uh, check for updates here. As you can see, it's going to download the new antivirus uh, signature updates. Maybe. 
let that go to the background. Uh, let's just uh, look around here, see what we got. Can do passwords, uh, backup, uh, and restore your security settings. A proxy there. Can hide my IP address. Okay, we got everything. Uh, trusted zone on medium, that's fine. Internet zone on high. This is their firewall. If you zone alarm before, a lot of these will be uh, very familiar to you. Program control. This auto learn. We're gonna switch that to maximum because if you see, if you read right here, it says switches to maximum in 21 days. So we're gonna go straight to maximum on that. We'll leave that on automatic. Programs, that's fine. Antivirus is on. Let's go to advanced options, see what they got here. You can update every three hours. Scan targets. Ultra deep scan, that's good. Scan in smart mode. Automatic repair no exceptions it's got quarantine it's got email protection we're not gonna mess with that cuz we're not gonna test email it's got identity protection parental controls and alerts and logs as you can see the download does uh, going kinda slow it's probably got a ton of updates so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna pause the video and I'll be right back when the updates are done okay uh, updates are all done and uh, I'm not gonna scan the computer now because we know it's clean so we'll close that out and uh, we got uh, three minutes before I have to start a new video here so we can get through a couple of the uh, links run the file and there you go it caught one it, it was a Trojan and uh, it quarantined it automatically so that's good if we hit run uh, nothing should happen we'll uh, run the next file and it quarantined that one too not a Trojan that's good If we hit run, you can see nothing happens. We'll try out number three. We can run that one. And again, it's a virus. Networm. That got caught. Four. We can run that one. And that got quarantined too. Trojan. And the here stick didn't catch anything, but it doesn't matter because the signature is caught it. And that one got caught too, got quarantined. And the here sticks didn't catch that either. So far, we are one, two, three, four, five for five. And uh, it caught uh, a back door. I was trying to load. What we'll do is uh, we will uh, delete it. And uh, I guess I'll delete it on reboot. We will, uh, well, it won't restart right now. We'll just keep going. We'll do one more and then I'll start a new video. And uh, I'll actually have to pause the machine and I'll be right back.